you shall be praying. God has used this man to ask a major question. The Spirit of God is heavy upon him and it's for a reason. There is more. There is more. Stretch for more. Because your life depends on it. Stretch for more. Your entire community develop, depends on it. Darkness is raging and it wants to destroy the light. Holy 
There is Cannot knock the door of life alone. I know that there is more. Don't be like the people that went to the. Uh, don't be like the seven sons of Sceva. They said in the name of Jesus that Paul preaches, and the spirits ask them, Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? God create space Holy that will accommodate Spirit, you inside of me. I know that there create space that will accommodate your way, that will accommodate your, your act inside Holy of me. Spirit, I want to knock I on the door of life. Create it. Create it. Holy create Spirit, it. Spirit, ah. I know that there For without controversy, Holy great is the mystery of godliness. I know that Create the space inside of me, O oh God, that will not make any Holy room for controversy Spirit, in my life. I know that there is more. Holy Spirit, I know that there is more. Is more Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Is more. There is a dimension of the gospel of the fullness of God that we need, and that is the witnessing of God that will end every controversy in our lives. For without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Our life must be an end to some controversies in the world. Do you agree? That our life, that without any higher order of doubt, it will be very evident to everyone around you that God is the one running your affairs most of the gospels that we've touched in God or most of the things that we've touched in God there is still room for controversy either they try to rationalize the anointing that we have or they try to explain or, 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 or put science to what miracle is and what miracle is not but there is a dimension in God that has no controversy. For without controversy, great, not small. And those that will carry the gospel, the mark of mystery of godliness, they too can never be small. You can't carry something that is great and be small. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
what the frequency that the Holy Spirit is touching through El Shaka is loaded as he is he's drunk. Is you see, <laughs> and that literally that is the kind of dimension you and I must walk out of this place with a clear gospel of Christ without controversy. Do you understand? For without controversy. I said you cannot carry something that is great and you are small. A time will come when you carry some dimensions of measure. People will not look at your stature again. It won't even be down to your, your small stature or your 50 kg. Samuel spoke and, and by, just by speaking, he led the whole nation for 40 years just by speaking his words did not fall to the ground there are some battles that Samuel would fight he would tell the armies of Israel don't go to war thunder come earthquake come go and fight you cannot see such, such, such a person on earth or in your generation and you will say there is still a controversy. You want to explain how he's calling thunder. You will say he's Shongo or something. Or you want to explain how he's calling, you say he's Oya or Patala. A time will come when you begin to get to the point where the Philistines, just by, just by being fought by thunder and earthquake, they began to return all the tithe, all the properties, all the landed properties that they've taken from the Israelites. They started returning it. The land of Ekron, they returned it. The land of this, they returned, they returned everything. There was no sword. Soldiers did not move at all. It was just thunder and earthquake. For without controversy. When will my Jesus be without controversy? That's the measure of the glory that we are talking about. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. That Christ was what? Was manifested in the flesh. That Christ that they carried was so tangible, they could touch it. You understand? It's not only in the spirit. People that were in the flesh with them, like you can touch like this, they could, they could, eh? they could touch it. They, it was, thank you, it was tangible in their flesh. You could see, you could represent flesh as corruption, you could represent flesh as a, a lack of completeness, you could represent flesh as you know, something that is not full and final, okay? You could represent flesh like something that still has some issues. But Christ was manifested in their incompleteness. Uh, Christ was manifested in their imperfection. Christ was ma mani he manifested in their frailty. He manifested in their weaknesses. Great is the mystery of godliness. That you carry yourself in the flesh to the best of your ability, but Christ is manifesting. Do you, do you understand? Manifesting in the flesh. Why? Because even the word became flesh. <laughs> we beheld his glory. There is a measure of the gospel of Christ that it will be clear that you carry the full glory, the full weight of God. At that point, everything that shows corruption in you will carry Christ. It will manifest Christ. People will say, though he's a man, but ah, there are things that he's been able to do seamlessly and supernaturally. Hmm. Do you understand? The word became flesh. And it dwelt among us. That is the dimension that you are going home with. 
from today that the word of God will richly dwell in you and you will manifest Christ to everyone in the flesh. Even in the Old Testament, there were testimonies of men that walked with God. God bore witness to Enoch that he walked. Somebody documented it, Moses, at the back of God when he was seeing the back. That was where he saw Enoch. I hope you know. Who wrote Moses? And who wrote, uh, I said, who wrote Moses? Who wrote Genesis? It was Moses. And Moses wrote Genesis when he asked, show me your glory. That was when God said, nobody sees me and leave. So before this can happen, the justice system of heaven must hide him in a cleft. But before he hides him in the cleft, the hand of God, who is in the person of Christ, must first cover him. For my life is hidden in God in Christ. You understand? So the hand hid him, then the hand put him in the cleft of the rock. So the hand and the cleft was hiding him and it was in Christ that he was looking at the back of God. It was from inside of Christ that he was looking at the back of God and through Christ he could interpret in the beginning God and he began to write Enoch what with God he began to see Abraham he began to see the testimony he began to see the testimony concerning Noah that he was a righteous man he was moved with godly fear he began to then he entered into Exodus he saw Moses when the people of Israel cried and Moses and God came down and Moses was produced he saw the Exodus how the people left Egypt and went he was seeing all those and then he got to Leviticus when God gave them the law and then he got to a place where they were numbered and then he got to the place where the tarumi where he could see the tabernacle of god and how he moves all of these things it was at it, it was just the back of god for without controversy <laughs> for without controversy you might think you are tired. You might think you are sitting down. You are weak. You are trying to sleep. Mm -mm. What is happening inside of you is your flesh will carry the word of God. Your eyes will carry the word of God. There will be an activation that goes beyond what man and science can explain. That from today, you will your natural habitat will be miraculous. From today, your natural dimension will be forced to think in the nature of God. Your, your first appearance will be Christ. Your clothes will be Christ. Everything in you will be Christ. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You will never be a mortal man anymore. You are changed from today. You become immortal in the midst of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the foundation of your life is altered forever, dented forever in the name of Jesus Christ for without controversy great not in any small measure is the mystery of godliness that even when you sleep no more will anybody come to press you in the dream your dream is, is taken. It's not available for any human. You see, I don't, I hardly dream to see any human being in my dream. Let's be clear. Once I close my eyes, I'm home. You see, you need to understand that all these things that they are saying about witches and wizards that they sleep and when they sleep, they go for meeting. They are just trying to copy us. That's our habitat. Okay? When Jesus got to a point, he broke his, he said, uh, Whoever cannot eat my flesh and drink my blood. What do you call that one? Is it not witches and witchcraft? That No, that's not their habitat. It's our own. You understand? That's why he told us to break bread. Ah, by the way, we have to break bread this night. That's why he told us to break bread. You understand? So as often as you do this, you begin to change. You see, you begin to enter into a, a, a divine nature. You understand? You begin to partake in heaven. What does it mean to partake? You begin to eat. They have meal in heaven. What is their meal? Christ. That's what they eat. You understand? Joy. What powers heaven? For the kingdom of heaven is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and what? And joy. So you won't have happiness from day. You will have joy. For joy is the, it's not, it's not the presence of money or the presence of your prayer being answered. Joy is not happiness. Happiness is, is, 
is, is propelled by what you have. Joy is propelled by what you do not have or who you have or who has you. For without controversy, great. So once, I'm, I'm, once night is coming, I'm happy. Why? I'm going home. Do you understand? Once I once I eat, once I hit the bed like this, it's I just it just opens naturally. I hardly see humans. I hardly see humans. I'll be seeing legislation, I'll be hearing conversations, I'll be hearing what is happening downloaded to me. It will be very clear. I you see, it it, it just keeps coming. My friend was sharing with me in 1989 how he first had the encounter of God talking to him and then 11 years after Paul and Job came to him do you understand for without controversy from today I declare your dream land occupied by God it is not available for any petty talk it's not available for eating for drinking Nobody pressing you in the night, taking you to come in and trying to have sex with you is over. All those nonsense, they are over because you are taken completely by God. For without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. That's what God is saying through this man here. That's what God is saying. That there is a measure that you begin to get to even the earth will be afraid of you the stars all of them elemental forces elemental structures they will know that a righteous man is upon the face of the earth do you understand that was what happened concerning the case of samuel it was very clear okay heaven bore witness and the earth got the memo that there is a man on the earth whose words nobody can toy with from today it will be very very impossible for your words to be small it will be very impossible your words will carry weight okay the weight of your word will what the weight in the name of jesus christ everyone will wait on you oh as you wait on god in the name of jesus for without controversy great is the mystery of godliness that Christ was manifested in the flesh justified by the spirit okay justified for he was called the son of God according to the spirit of holiness justified by the spirit do you understand that this matter has left the earth is now in the cosmos where stars begin to fight do you, you remember that story Judges chapter 5 where stars begin to fight okay and he says that those that uh, those that declare the gospel or he said they shall be like the stars do you understand <laughs> and we have the bright and morning star it's not the devil no uh, Peter said, until the morning star appears in your heart. Who do you think he's talking about? He's talking about Christ. I, tell, I told you about copycats. The devil loves to copycat. He thought, so we think we, it's the bright and morning star. No, there is, one, oh, there is only one star. It's called the star of Bethlehem. And then it produces stars. You and I. Do you understand? Okay. Now, that justification of the stars. The stars are not on the earth. The stars are in the cosmos, in the heavenlies. Because you are far above every principalities and power. Okay. He who is from above is above all. So, it is very clear that from today, you will be, you will be above all. In every way, in every measure, you will be above all. For without controversy, there is a justification that the Spirit of the Lord must make concerning your life from today. That it will be evident to everybody that you are not just a small person it was said of daniel that oh king a man that will say these things his place is among the gods you ask yourself where was daniel in chapter three why was it the only why was it only the three hebrew boys that were in the fire where was daniel
in chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar prostrated for Daniel. He made Daniel a god. That was why he was called Bethesazar. From that point on, he was completely exempted. He was above Nebuchadnezzar. I hope you know that Nebuchadnezzar was a god in his own right. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 37, he was called a king of kings. There is only one the king of kings. If you go, say, thou, O king, art a king of kings. Not the king of kings. He was a king of kings. So he was God in his own right. He could commune with God. He could commune. You understand? So he was not afraid. When he had those dreams, he could not. I mean, how detailed could those dreams be? Do you understand? He's showing that the Christians are not the only one that has the exclusive preserve of God. God can choose to manifest himself, to show himself to anyone. He showed himself to Abimelech, a, a pagan king, had communication with God. He said, God, in the integrity of my hand, have I done this? Have not? And God said, I know. How can God be talking to a pagan king? Okay, I thought, as if that was a fluke. And then Nebuchadnezzar came. He said, I saw the fourth man. Even Christians couldn't see the Jews were there, kneeling and bowing to the God of music they couldn't see the fourth man they understand but it took god to open the eyes of an unbelieving king to see the fourth man it will be very clear to everyone whether blind or lame or deaf they will see christ in you it will be very evident they will not be able to deny the christ that you carry as thick as the darkness that is coming your light will be will be brighter in the name of jesus that's what we are talking about we must carry this thing home So when Nebuchadnezzar prostrated to Daniel, Daniel couldn't be seen in the fire. It's not possible, sir. He was a god. He was a god. So he was exempt. So when there were collections of God, Daniel was there. Daniel stood where that, uh, that long, that, that god of music that was erected. Daniel stood not so far from there because he himself was a god. So he couldn't be told to prostrate or to... To, to bow the knee. No, it's not possible. When Nebuchadnezzar was talking to everybody, Daniel, will, ah, you will be an exception to the rule of life in the name of Jesus. It will be very clear to you. Nobody will hold you bound by rules of life because God Almighty will make you an exception without controversy. Ah, you are not talking. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. There's a justification that must go on in your life by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit must be your witness. It must witness Christ. It must witness the righteousness of God inside of you. And that is the justification we are talking about. For, ah. Ah, there is a particular portion that says, uh, uh, who can condemn, who can condemn me? It is, it is, it is God that justifies you understand <laughs> nobody can lay any charge against the elect it is God that justifies how does God justify the Holy Spirit will bear witness okay to God I, that was what happened when that light when that darkness was, was proclaimed in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 because God cannot do anything outside of his spirit he had to allow the Holy the, his Spirit to go first and when the spirit went he blew upon the face of the deep what was he doing he was making justification for why light must come out of this darkness come on he, he laid he, he compelled that environment okay to accommodate the ways and act of god that's why he said the light shine in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it for it is god who commanded light to shine out of darkness it is that same god the darkness could not comprehend where he was coming from darkness could not he could not rationalize it. Darkness could not explain it from today. Oh. Nobody will be able to explain your emergence. Nobody will be able to explain it. They will see, we need to show the world what it cannot explain. You don't understand what I'm saying, sir. That's what this man has been saying. We need to show the world that there is something when they get, they think they have explanation for everything. You understand? That's why they say question and answer. We must be a question that the world cannot answer. Ah, oh Simbe. You understand? 
Okonkwo, we must be a question that the world cannot answer. Okonkwo, you must be the prophet that the devil must not make. Okonkwo, you must be the prophet that only God must make. Hey! It is the justification that the Holy Spirit will make for you before God that the darkness of this world the Holy Spirit will come and make justification why Okonkwo must emerge and carry the lights from the father of lights do you understand for every good and perfect gifts come from God the father of light why in whom there is no variableness neither is there any shadow of turning question is there anything in this life that is always at the peak of his power do you know of anything that goes up that does not come down? Okay? Do you know of anything? Now, is you. Amala mana mosilia bara mana ndelele baya. Me makudi bara da solia mano ke tilia pai mano nasaya. It is you. For God is always at the peak of his power. You know what that means? It's like the sun. When it's 12 o'clock, the sun is right on top of my brother. You don't see his shadow. Fall to this left. Fall to the right. It's at the peak. The sun is at the peak of his strength. And so you cannot find any shadow. That is God. That's the, that's the description of God. That there is no variableness. Neither is there any shadow of turn. It's not an undulation. There is no ups and down. There is no recession in God. There is no down. There is no up. There is no abundance. There is no recession. Do you understand? He is always at the peak of his strength. And we that we are made in his image by the justification of the Holy Spirit in us through Christ Jesus must be at the peak of God's power. So you are the one that must manifest. I say you must manifest. You will carry that perfection that even your mistake will be celebrated as a, sol as a solution. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, are you here? Yeah. That you will cough and they will say that's a solution. You will sneeze, they will say that's a solution. You will cry, they say, oh, everybody start crying because that's a solution. You will stomp your feet, they say, oh, that's the way, that's the way. Everybody keep doing it. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Justified by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit went upon the face of the deep and started, and started making justification to the Father. That you see, the, this darkness, I'm compelling it to accommodate your word. And when that transaction was done, the, the darkness that was, that was there could not retain the resistance. They, 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 that, there, was a comp, there was a compelling you understand there was an imposition that was done there was a dominating effect upon the entire stream of darkness darkness was struggling what is happening to me something is happening I cannot hold my ground anymore why because the spirit are taking over that place they are taking over the terrain you understand he has locked it up and when he locked up everything and comprehended the whole length and breadth the father said it's alright let there be light and it was just inevitable. Nothing could stop the emergence of that light. Why? Because without controversy, great the mystery of godliness. That Christ was manifested in the flesh, justified by the Spirit, seen by angels. <laughs> Do you understand? Hey, they didn't see the word made flesh before. They had to come down to organize a, 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 a concert because sound must go. Your sound will go across the world. Yeah. Hey, you understand? Your sound will go across the world. Your sound, your sound, your sound will go. There is a tribe. That I don't know the tribe, whether it's in Nigeria or in Africa, that when a child is born, the, the name of the child will be derived from the song. You see, the, 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 the deities will be, consult, will be consulted. And the deities, they will ask for the song. Even in Yoruba culture or in any culture in Nigeria, there is something called oriki, eulogy. 
Hey, by the time they start looking for me, my middle name is Ajayi. So when they start, they say, Ajayi, O Gidi, O Nuo, Ni Konga, Ajayi, Kon, O Shurubo, Mi, O Weda, Ajayi, We, Lo, Do, Bo, Bo, Mo, O Mo, Ge, Yo, Wo, She, E, Ni, Ajayi, Ba, 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 Ti, O, Ba. It's only God that can deliver such a person. At that point, I don't care who you are. You will spend and be spent. You will remove everything from your pocket because theology talks about a, 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 a limitless dimension of where you come from. It's talking about eternity, the structure of eternity in time. It begins to comprehend and describe you to a point that you begin to look at yourself. Am I this big? Is this me they are talking about? Why? Because it's a song your song must be sung the earth will, will witness to your song your emergence will come the sound that will produce Christ in you is here the sound that the angels brought nobody could resist the sound on earth they could hear the sound you know, nobody, nobody, nobody documented the song that the angels sang but it produces a sound and the sound was so clear that somebody had to say angels sang do you understand? Seen by angels. Seen by angels. Ah, we have seen the word made flesh. We have never seen the person bearing Jesus before because Jesus didn't exist. That name didn't exist. It was the word in heaven. It was Christ. Okay? Aha. So at that point, that was the first and the only time that the word will come from heaven and it will, be, it will come in the flesh form. So angels needed to testify. And so they need to see it. <laughs> Do you understand? They need to see it. Why? Because even the younger ones, the, their angels seek the face of the father. Why? Because they will say, we have seen. Ah, we have seen. We have seen. We have seen. Father, send us. Send us. Send us so that we can go and guide this person. We have seen. Oh, the Christ that you carry. Even the angels will testify. They will see it. They will testify. They will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Preached to the Gentiles. Preached to the Gentiles without controversy. Is this word eating your bones? Is it touching your cords? Is the last straw? Is the beginning of your class? Do you understand? This is what will launch you out. <laughs> Do you understand? Great is the mystery of godliness. From today, there will be no controversy in your life. Oh. <laughs> in this time and age where the world is looking to dent people's character and to put scandal everywhere, you will be scandal free. You understand you because there will be no controversy, even in places where you have sinned, it will not be held against oh God, it will not be held against you. Ah, somebody is not saying amen. No, where you have once fallen before, you will rise there, you will walk there, you will fly in the name of Jesus. Where you have once fallen, where people have looked down on you, they will look up to you. Be very careful, you can't look down on a man that looks up to God. Can never. The Pharisees was looking down on that guy. The guy looked up and said, have mercy on me. Preached. Preached unto the Gentiles. Who preached to Colinius? You think it was Peter? You think it was Peter? Who preached to Colinius? Who preached to Colinius? By arms giving, angels came down to his house. And they said, okay, salvation has come. Send for a man called Peter, not the Tana. Peter was busy arguing with God. He didn't know that the train has left. The train has moved. By everything that the disciples knew, they wouldn't preach to the Gentiles because salvation was not to the Gentiles as at the time. But what happened? Peter got there. He was still doing introduction. Imagine introducing yourself and boom, the Holy Spirit baptized people. He got to a time, he said, so what, what, what stops us from baptizing these people? Ah, yeah. Preached unto by Gentiles. Even Gentiles saw God. That's why I say the Christian community is not the only one that has the exclusive preserve of God. Abimelech had conversation with God. Nebuchadnezzar had conversation with 
the for, he could see the fourth man in the fire. So if God could do that, he did now decided to tell the story in the form of a Gentile. Okay, Colinius, and the door of salvation opened. Okay, Colinius, it was Colinius's home that extended to us. Why? Because great, the mystery of godliness preached unto the Gentiles. Preached unto the Gentiles. From today, nothing will best preach Christ to everyone around you like your character. Your character will show that you are of God. And you know why? Because Christ will be your character. It will be a shining light. Your eyes will beam light. Your hand will beam light. Your body will carry true light of God. When you enter into a place, every fake light will be exposed. When you enter into a place, darkness cannot stand that place. Nothing will lay, will be, will lay claim. Nothing, no darkness will lay claim on your life in the name of Jesus. Or without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. That Christ was manifested in the flesh, justified by the Spirit, seen by angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world. Ah. Nigeria will believe in you. Oh, yeah. If you know the weight of that prayer, you will say amen again. Amen. They will be looking at you as the savior. Oh, are, you, are you ready for what you are taking home today now? Are you ready? You are still sitting there. They will look at you and they will say, well, we have found no other person that will deliver us from this quagmire except you. You are the one that will carry the presence wherever you go. Woman, I am saying to your life, that is what will happen to you. Amen. Do you understand? Yes, it will be very clear. Yes. Everyone will believe Amen. Christ in you. Your world will believe Christ in you. Amen. It will be very, very clear. Nobody will be able to doubt the Christ that you will carry. Amen. Why? Because the witness will come from heaven. The witness will come from God. God will be the witness of the Christ that you carry from today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Believed on in the world. In a time when the world is doing the most to, to not believe Christ. Do you understand? In a time when, God, when the world is doing the most to resist Christ in the world. In a time when they are fighting to the nail to remove Christ everywhere. This is the time that the light that we carry will be ready to end every identity crisis in us. Such that when we enter into the darkness, we will not be afraid of being contaminated. You will have contact without contamination. The world will be afraid of you. You are not the world will be afraid of you. Preached, believed on in the world. There is one prayer I'm hearing in my ears. Ah, she, she. You know that prayer. You know the weight of that prayer. <laughs> that with you, maybe not with another person, but with you, it will always be possible. Yeah. Aye. 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 Do you understand? They will say, with this person, it will be done. Don't worry. Just they say, don't, don't worry. He will find a way. He will always find a way. Do you understand? That's what Yoruba call Kibati. Kole biwo. Kole baje. Kole tiko. Do you understand? He cannot fail. 
he cannot fall. He cannot falter. There can never be any fault that will be picked in. And we looked at Daniel, we couldn't find any fault in. How do you look at somebody and there is no fault? Is it possible, man? What kind of life did Daniel live in Babylon? A place where structure is par excellence. You understand? He was a chief magician, chief astrologer. He, that means, you know, apart from graduating with first class and everything, they couldn't find any fault. Is it possible, sir? No, answer. Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible for a man to live and there won't be any fault? You know what happened? Christ covered Daniel. It wasn't about what he was doing rightly or what he was doing wrongly. They couldn't even find the fault. Hey, oh God. They couldn't even find the fault at all. In a place where your fault is conspicuous like this, it won't be found. Yeah. Hmm. They won't see it because Christ, they will look for it. They will not see. They say, as for I, your kunle, we have looked every... Did you, did you see that they made effort? Did you see that they really made effort, sir? It was not a joke that they were... Those guys, they knew what they were doing. Cheap magicians... Chief magicians, they have senior, uh, senior special advisor to senior special advisor. They can, they can take on, you know, somebody's life and contract it out that they, will, they should stalk him. Yoruba will say, I want to anything shoni. Which means you can never be smarter or wiser than the person that is stalking you. Because you would have forgotten that the person is watching. But the person is actually watching. Do you know there are gatekeepers in our streets? Have you seen those area boys that they know when you come home? They know when they drop your son at school. They know when their school, their school board passes. One of them will greet you and will say, Ah, uncle, we say we should greet you now. We just saw the wife of your the car, the car of your wife pass, and then you will know that you are in trouble. You know, you are that gentleman that lives on the street. You think nobody knows you. The day they give you your dossier, that's when you will know that they are watching gatekeepers you buy generator you want to put generator mount generator you you before then you think the the street is peaceful immediately the truck enters like this you just see them come from nowhere then they begin to talk about your life this man that does not know he does not greet anybody he drives pajero he will just go even his wife that's how proud they are and they'll be waiting for and they will tell your truck driver you cannot drop this in until you pay something and honestly you will pay because if you don't pay they can kill somebody on your neck that's the problem with nigeria because your own righteousness is not practical enough. So you are not even joining association of your estate. But there are great keepers. Because on the election day, you will just come out as a an Englishman. You want to vote. But they, the gatekeepers, they have done everything, all the works. You know, they have meeting at their ward. NURTW is their department. Okay. So they have done everything. You can't go for that meeting because you, you don't want to be, you don't want darkness around you. You can't go for their meeting. It's too rough. They are too this. They are too that. They understand. And the light that we carry must confront every darkness everywhere. Do you understand? This you will leave this place with full belief. You will go anywhere that your light can never be contaminated. That your light cannot even carry darkness. Daniel did not have any fault. Not because he was not human. But because Christ covered him. This is what Yoruba calls Araye Oniri Die. Do you understand? They will look and look and look and look and look. The more you they look, the less they will see. They will not be able to see anything. They will do every finding. They will, do, ah, ah. They will see what is the problem. What see, I am talking about a matter that is very deep. Deeper than the current Jesus that is being preached on the earth. That this particular Jesus, it will be with no controversy. Yoruba will say pata pata la foju kute kute la dete oju a fo fo tan idane mudane I'm not doing incantation what he's saying is these eyes there is no partial blindness or partial sight either you are totally blind or you are totally alive and well that your eyes is what is clear that's what it means okay it, 
a high sight that has partial blindness, it, there is a problem because you'll be telling the man, it looks like he has one sight. No, the other one will say it looks like something. <laughs> you understand? John chapter 9, verse 9. Other said it is him. The other said it is not. He said, I am he. Why? Because he has gained the full. You understand? Daniel could not. No fault. Is it possible for you to live a faultless life? Is it very possible? Who can lay a charge against the lost anointed? Shall the captive, uh, shall the prey of the mighty be, de- be taken? Abiba Oloji, how did he say? Shall the prey of the mighty be delivered? Abi? Shall the mighty, oh God. Uh, thank you, Jare. No, 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 no. 24, 24, 24. There, there is a way he asks the question. He says, shall the prey of the mighty be taken? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful? Do you see what is there? Lawful. You did the mistake, oh? Lawful. They got there, they saw that you were at fault. Lawful. They did everything. They said, well, he has to be dismissed. Lawful. They begged and they did every appeal. Eh? Lawful. It's a, sh- it's a question. No? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Which means, ah, you cannot be prey if you are not taken. Pray, take it. Okay? What's the answer? Because to every question there is an answer. <laughs> but thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Are you are you are you alive? Are you alive? Are you alive? Oh yeah, read it, read it. Everybody read it. Even the ca- shall is that all you can do? And the prey of the terrible shall be de- finish it. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will say. Turn to the person by your right. Turn to the person by your right. Everyone will contend against everyone that contends. Everyone will contend. For I will contend with him that contend with you. And I will save your children. This was what this was the story of Daniel. Are you saying he had no fault? That he had no fault. He had fault. But they couldn't find it. You see, you don't understand what I'm saying. That is human. He had fault. But they could not what? Find it. Do you know that there is price for everyone on earth? Do you know that if they if they want to really pay a price to take you down, they can they can do it. They will find it to your proclivity, to your weakest point, that which you cannot do, you cannot resist. Do you understand? They will put it around you, and they will be ready to have their evidence, and they will nail you. You know when you are finding something against somebody, you will find it. You will find it though, because it will leave trails. Of his humanity. Do you understand? The places of his vulnerability and proclivity. And you'll be able to catch him there. And you'll be able to nail him down. Hey! But David said, Oh God, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to naught. Because at that point he knew that there was nothing he could do. When they brought the message, he kept asking, who is with them? Hiya, you don't understand. He kept asking, who is with them? Who is with them? They will mention something. They say, well, there's no problem. Who is with them? He turned to Joab by, maybe by what? Where is Haito face? Say, we don't know where he is. Let's go and look for the lizard dog. Who is with them? Until they said, Haito Hey, he looked up. Why? Because this was a man that it was said of him that his counsel will look like God came down and dropped idea. You understand? That this, this, this suggestion is from God and nobody can, I can fault it. Have you, have, you, have you had cases with... Oh my God. You know my, you know my former boss. 
Hey, if you are talking of those that can find fault and they can sit down to 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 you know to 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 cleverly craft it around you and weave it, you can never be delivered from his hook. Oh, you can never, I don't care who you are. And he raised an accusation against me that I stole his money, that I did this, I did, and he wrote to Tota. Where I used to, he wrote to them, he didn't even write to Lagos, he wrote to France and kept copy with Lagos. You understand? You know, people like that, he should write to France and keep a copy, sir. He wrote to France and kept, so it was from France that they started screaming. Uh, who, what is happening? We are receiving a letter. What's going on? What's happening? What's going on here? And he had some files. He had some things to show. Whether that thing was true or not, the truth of the matter was that they received something. And do you know there is a, what people are scared of is a, what do you call rumor? Or maybe there is a there is a rumor. They they just take it to be, please please whatever your problem is go and solve it and they label it on you. You see there is a there is an accus accusation that rises over a man that he will not have the pleasure or the opportunity to defend himself. It would have been nailed already, either by man or by the gods. Do you understand? But wherever your matter is being discussed, whether in heaven or in, on earth or in the earth beneath, ah, the blood of Jesus and the voice of heaven will rise in your favor and will speak for you. We speak for your sons. We speak for your daughters. We speak for everything that you represent. When the fault of a man is found, he's in serious trouble. DB this, DB that, but he's been with us for eight months. Ah, we, we don't find anything. He's the treasurer of the largest cooperative in Africa. And blah, blah, blah. He's managing 50 something billion. Has anything got? They were, you know, there were suggestions. Okay, let us let us do audit. Let us why they were doing that. They set up 22 man panel against me. Immediately, we give you 48 hours to resume. To, to respond. In some places, they will tell you that you should leave the office and be suspended indefinitely so that you can, what, you can, you, you cannot influence anything in the course of business. Do you understand? So, I, you know, it looked like whether, whether it's true or not, but this is what they say. Do you understand? And that was going on until I looked and Oh, no. The legal counsel called me and said, do you have anything to say? I said, Ma, unfortunately, I don't always keep my records. What do I say? You want to catch something about a man, you will catch it. You will see it. Because I didn't think that the time will come that I will have to rest. I will have to respond about things in my former place of work. How many times do you file things that you do in office? You just say, well, I've done it in good faith. Do you understand? Oh, I got home. I knelt down. I couldn't pray. Do you understand? I wanted to pray. It was tears. How did I get to this point? What kind of thing is this? How do you get so, you know, how does rumor hang over your head and it looks to be true because you do not even have the facts to even defend your case. And 48 hours was coming. Hey! But myself and my friend were called on God. The everlasting father that does all things. It then happened that three years before that time, uh, when I was in that employment, I was a young man that came for employment. And he came, and, and you know, we sat down, and the committee, they started, you know, um, presenting their cases on the best or the most suitable, you know, candidate. And it was time for me to submit my report. Listen very well. And I went, oh, I could have done it cleverly and systematically and strategically following all the things that we believe, okay, that makes us to know that somebody is eligible. But I left all those things. I went to the Holy Spirit. And I said, Holy Spirit, who is the person? And he pointed the guy to me. In fact, he was the worst of them all. But I stood there. And my MD called me then and said, of all the reports, it's your report that is pointing to this guy. What is the problem? I said, well, I just believe that there is a potential that goes beyond English speaking that we need to have. There are some people, they have all the trappings. They can speak good English. But the day they get to your office, your businesses start shutting down. I said, there are some people, they don't know how to present themselves. But there is God inside of them and great fortune start coming. I said, that's what I smell concerning this guy. And he said, you know what? I would tie his performance to your performance. If he doesn't succeed, then you will resign. I said, no problem. Because God has said to me, I put my money where my mouth is. The guy heard about it. 
Right? Because HR, they said, well, even MD did not even speak of you very well. And MD called him and said, have they given you your letter? Go and thank Daniel Bello. He's the only person that stood for you. Left to me, I would have sacked you. The guy held it. So when he heard about the thing that the company was taking against me, he said something started disturbing him in his heart. That will this go like this? No, I would rather put my job on the line. And he went to accounting department and did all the photocopies and then called me and said, I have all the facts. This was 48 hours before the time. Who can lay a charge against the gods and left? It is God that protects. And that's what he means by the lawful captive. I didn't have any proof. This guy looked for me and he said, I'm ready to do this. And I said, I already do are you doing this? They can sack you. They said, I'd rather be sacked. Because the day I didn't even believe in myself, you believed in me. I wept and wept like a baby. I couldn't control myself because it was so real to me that without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Then you know how you didn't have any fact yesterday and today you be you have fact. You know how you will carry shoulder. I carry shoulder to the 22-man panel and I started bringing, they say this exhibit, I brought it. That exhibit, I brought it. Do you have this one? I brought it. Do you have everything I bought? My, my photocopy was so massive, was so big and I was so proud I put it on the table. In my mind, I was saying, God, I thank you because I couldn't have done this at all. I couldn't have gotten this far at all. This person tried to nail me. They edged me around, but it was you. Many are the afflictions of their righteous but the lord deliver him from them all and he did not fall for none of his bone fell to the ground this will be your evidence from today in the name of jesus christ is it the name they will call you is it you understand they try to kill him they try to nail him they try to feast him to roast him a raw is not dying is not good what is wrong with is god and that was how i was acquitted by 22 people remember the deputy managing director saying ah with what you have faced i think i'll make a recommendation that every year you should be promoted something that looked like a downfall for me there was no time i was in that employment that i wasn't empl i wasn't promoted no matter how tough the budget of the year is, Daniel Bello's name will be on that place. My name was always coming out until I left. He was, God was always doing his thing. And they said to him, they wrote to the company, we find no charge against him. If you think what you have is tenable enough, go to the police. Very simple. believed on in the world people came to me and said ah, this is your God how did it happen how did it happen people in the industry the former industry I was they said ah, you cannot enter into the web of your former boss and come out how did you do he has started going everywhere to say you see he, he will know that nobody leaves me and, and, and goes fine he will regret it this will happen that's why everybody was also watching but see they will wait in vain <laughs> I said they will wait in vain. Those that are ready to mock the righteousness of God in you, they will wait in vain. Those that are ready to say that you have no measure, they will wait in vain. Those that are belittling you and looking down on you because you look up to God, they will wait in vain. And received up in glory. That was the last justification. That was the last, eh? without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. That was the last. Received up in glory. The glory of God will so envelop you that you will be received up at every point of your life. That was how the manner of exit of Jesus became. You understand? His entry came by miracle. His exit also by miracle. How can somebody come through a virgin and no man slept with him or with her? It was because God bypassed any uh, artificial mechanism of humanity, you understand, or any natural means and connected that seed to, to, to heaven. He bypassed everything that is man made. Oh God. God will bypass everything that is human in you. You see, we need to bring this gospel to bear. 
that people will look at you and say you are not dumb man you are not human this thing that is happening it has to be by another means to explain it you see the world must fight the world is looking to fight that kind of jesus the reason they are they are comfortable with other jesus is because they can explain it how can you explain somebody born by the virgin mary somebody born by the power of the highest coming on him how can you how can you explain that kind of a thing how can you also explain his exit received up in glory the only explanation for glorious exit of a man is burial and then we go for the funeral they went for this burial they didn't complete the funeral because the third day he was not there and to show that it was not a fluke he came back and he stayed for 40 days and he started talking to them and before all of them he was received up in glory stand up stand up papa let's go we have come to the beginning of the beginnings you may think it's the end it's not you have been divinely implicated because as you are hearing everything that has been said heaven is activating everything that needs to be activated inside of you and you will carry the undeniable mystery of godliness from today you will be godly the righteousness of heaven will help you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth my God Kai. Lord most high El Shaddai I choose to love you over all oh. Open your mouth and sing now. God most high, El Shaddai, I choose to love you over all. Is that a proclamation from you? God most high. Come on, come on, sing, 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 sing. Declaration of faith you are making. 
Let it go round, let it go round, let it go round. I choose. 